So you're thinking about moving up to the high desert and you're interested in finding out what's the cost of living up here in the high desert. So that's what we're gonna be discussing in this. cost of living up in the high desert. So I moved here about two years ago and I actually verified that, okay, because I know I said a year and a half ago, but it's been two years already. I can't I can't really believe how fast time is really going. But um yeah, okay. So I moved up to the high desert about two years ago. And the reason for me uh, to make that switch or make that move was mainly because of the cost of living. I moved up to the high desert from Riverside, California, or the England Empire, and uh, just the cost of living was going up so high that they kinda, I was kind of had to make a decision to see what was going to be uh, best for me and my and my family and see what I can better use my money for instead of just trying to uh, have it this high cost of living down in the high in the England Empire uh, in Riverside okay so that's where I'm I made the decision to move up to the high desert just because it's not that the housing it's uh, super low but uh, you can get a nice property for 350 uh, 400 there is a lot of newer communities up here 450 but in riverside the properties are just so uh, high right now that that's something that was not working for me and my family so that's why i decided to come and um, move up to the high desert now i need to just be honest with uh, with you it, i don't commute to work so that's what kind of made it a little easier for me to make that decision to come and move up here to the high desert. Also, I based my decision, uh, my sister and my family moved up here a couple of years ago. And um, also, so that's was talk to you about the home rentals or uh, the rental market up here in the high desert. Now, um, I still think that the, it's kind of affordable if you're looking to rent. Um, I think it's something that might be a better option than trying to rent in the England Empire or trying to rent in Los Angeles. Definitely, I mean, you can get more information online, of course. I want us to go over the rental uh, prices because the rental prices have gone up even up here in uh, Victorville, okay? And um, this is all public record. Okay, so I'm gonna, I'm on Zillow. And I wanted to kind of show you what's available for rent up here and how, what's the rental market kind of look like, okay? Um, as you can see, this four bedroom, 2.5 bathroom is like $2,500. Uh, there's this three bedroom, two um, bath. It's kind of small, 1,100 square feet, and that's 1,660. And uh, there's also some apartments in here. Uh, I saw a two-bedroom apartment, two-bedroom apartment, one bath for 1,115 a month. So that's pretty cheap for a two-bedroom, okay? Um, so two bedroom apartment here, two bed, two bedrooms, one bath in Victorville. So that's around the price points that you're going to be looking at for rentals up here. Kind of range from a thousand eight hundred to a thousand nine hundred. So just so that you can get a little idea of what the rental market is doing up here. Um, so it, that has a lot to do with the cost of living or why people are moving up here to the, the high desert. It because the cost of living is a little bit cheaper uh, to be able to be renting to rent a house for a three bedroom, two bath for a thousand eight hundred dollars, or renting the apartment for one thousand dollars. So I just wanted to to give you a little look. The 
gas prices okay so up here in the high desert i think right now we're at 445 and that's buying the gas at costco uh to get gas but i mean uh you probably there is a couple that are out there i know my sister goes to arco uh she feels that uh there's an arco in a certain area that she prefers to go to uh so yeah the gas prices are a little crazy right now and i know that's not just here in the high desert i know that's everywhere but i just wanted to kind of put that in there okay <laughs> so uh what's the the grocery um cost or what's the the cost for uh food well of course that's i think that's the same as everywhere else i mean um it's the average uh grocery cost i guess uh for every anybody i mean it all depends what kind of budget you have if you do coupons or whatever the case is i mean that all depends on you but i mean i don't see the market prices any lower or any higher from the england empire like riverside or la okay so i think it's kind of the same pricing so out here there's a lot of dive bars for you to go out and have uh maybe some food or have a drink and um I really find the prices very reasonable, I mean, uh, for the drinks and for the appetizers. So um, out here you go to a, a dive bar and it could be three, four o'clock and it's full of people and everybody's in sandals, shorts, just uh, a very chill atmosphere, nothing fancy. I've been to a couple of the bars or the nightlife out here and it's all very, um, comfy um nothing out of the ordinary and all of the prices are always very affordable which that's something that i really enjoy because it gives me the option to kind of have some time to go out and enjoy time out of the house um so i think that's a uh, very uh that's something to note in the costs because if you're that type of person that likes to go have a drink for dinner or likes to go out once or twice a week, definitely there's a, there's a lot of options up here. And there's a lot of options with, that are reasonably um, cost effective. So I thought that was something that you should know because uh, talking about the cost of living here in the high desert, that's a main, that's a big one to be able to go out and just enjoy your time. So I'm gonna show you a couple of information. So actually some national information on my computer. Okay, so just take a look and look at all the, the averages that show you the difference on the cost of living from uh, the high desert to um, LA and the cost of living is 107.7. So the overall cost of living in California is 149.9. Okay, so all of this is public record. So the cost of living is a little lower up here in uh, Victorville. And as you could see, like overall groceries, health insurance, housing. Wow, look at the housing. Okay, the medium cost of uh, home prices. Look at California, 239.1. Victorville is still at 11.3. Wow, okay. Um, and this is the average rental by bedroom, okay? So in Victorville, they're 928. In uh, Riverside County, San Bernardino County, it, they're 1,062. In uh, California, they're 1,374. Okay, so and if this is just great information for you to go and check out on your own. But um, just to see these one bedrooms, 1050 we did see the two bedroom for 1100 okay and if you yep look at a three bedroom is a thousand eight hundred and five dollars wow riverside they're two thousand in cal in california that means maybe la they're two thousand six hundred and i know they're even more in some areas so let's take a look at the cost of living map. 
Okay, and this is the overall score of the high desert. Wow. Okay. So this is just all public information. I just want to give you more of a detailed look of um, everything that I'm seeing and why I think the cost of living up in the high desert, it's um, so much cheaper than LA or Riverside County. Um, and that's why I wanted to show you uh, this so data. So if you're thinking about making a move, shoot us a text or send us a, an email or give us give me a call. That's perfectly fine too. And uh, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Now, leave me a comment if there is something that you want to know or something that you want to see that's up here in the high desert. Go ahead and leave me a comment and we'll